I'm still in my home. My wife is gone. She's visiting a friend. That's awesome. That means I'm watching the kids myself and I'm going a little crazy, okay? She's getting back today, so we're good. We're good to go. I got time to record a quick video. What I want to do on this one is just a real basic. This is what you need to do to actually get shopping ads connected to your feed because this is one of those... If you just don't know what you're doing with it, it's actually really annoying to try to find with the current setup in Google Merge Center. So here's what to know. When you first start an account with GMC, it kind of walks you through here some steps. And at some point, maybe we'll actually film that. Right now, what I want to do is when you actually submit products, it's throwing you into free listings automatically. There's kind of a two-fold process to it that you need to know. And where you need to go is growth. Again, this is not normally something you think about, but like... You're probably looking in the settings. How do I get it? How do I do shopping ads? You need to go to growth and manage programs. And then all of a sudden you have all these programs that you need to do. It's actually very confusing. It's not intuitive. That's where you go. And then what you need to do is go to shopping ads and there's like a little get started button and you click that get started button and then it walks you through the stuff you need to do to get shopping ads. That's also, by the way, how you do buy on Google. It's how you do dynamic remarketing. It's how you do customer reviews. All, all of the stuff. You want to get product ratings, which will do that at some point. You got to get started through here. You got to go growth, manage programs. Okay, growth, manage programs. Then go back to your feeds. And in this particular client, we're using a just a real simplistic, we got six products right now, we got a Google Sheets going. Then what you got to do is make sure that you actually opted into shopping ads as well. Now, I think when you first enable shopping ads, this might be automatically, for the sake of this video, I wanted to select this for you. So you go into settings within your feed and you click the shopping ad. And then you save it. And that's also eventually what you do with dynamic remarketing and, and that sort of thing. If you, for some reason, want to just deselect, if you only want your products in this entire feed to go to free listings, you can do that through this option as well. You could deselect shopping ads and then save it and reprocess your feed, uh, which you do by fetch now up here. Um, so you would do that. If you only want some products, by the way, I'm, I'm a huge fan of dumping as many products as you can from your site because of the free listings. Now, this actually changes. I used to say, don't put products that you don't want in Google ads up um, into your feed. Now I say the opposite. I say, get all the products you can because it's free listing. It's like more SEO stuff, right? So get those up. If you only want some products though, if you only want some products, then you're gonna use this cool little attribute. Let me let me grab that for you. All right, so you're gonna use this attribute that's called a, either the excluded or included destination. It's kind of funny that they have both of these. So what I like to do is let's say you want everything everywhere except maybe something like dynamic remarketing or Google Shopping, which uh, by the way, this is also a fantastic hack. If you have some products, especially in like healthcare, let's say, that Google does not want in dynamic remarketing, like let's say you have some products that are are disapproved for that and not all of them. If for instance, you want all of your products excluded from dynamic remarketing, then just like remove dynamic remarketing from the feed option here, which it would show up if in this account we had dynamic remarketing, just deselect that box and you're good to go. But again, if you have like 4,000 products and a hundred of them have to do with some health thing that Google doesn't like, then what you would do is keep everything the same, go into excluded destination in your feed. So add that attribute in excluded destination and you would you would type in display ads as, as your excluded destination. So you'd add that in just like that into the feed, boom. And then all of a sudden, those products are no longer gonna show up as product errors within, within your Google Merchant Center. So that, that's really cool. Um, and, and same thing, you know, included destination. Again, literally the opposite. So just the opposite. I'm a fan. I'm more of a fan of excluded destination because typically by default, you're gonna want like all of your products in each of those different, channels. And then maybe, like I said, there might be some use case where you want some products that are excluded for whatever reason. So that's where I tend to be more of a fan of excluded destination. Um, and you can add multiple ones in with the comma there as well. So, hey, go read uh, Google Merchant Center policy docs on your spare time. Um, and then you'll kind of learn some of that stuff. But that's how you find and initially start those different programs like shopping ads and dynamic remarketing is again, Let's, let's review growth and then manage programs. And so you would actually turn it on for um, dynamic remarketing or that sort of thing. 
you can enable it and then then it'll start showing up in that feed option and then that's also where you would include or exclude that um that within your feed you could select or deselect that now so hopefully that's as clear as mud um but just some different little hacks to try out by hacks i mean just the normal way google shopping works but it doesn't always make sense so hopefully that makes sense to you keep watching